بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم وبعد respected listeners as believers one of our fundamental core structured and cemented belief is that after death there would be an aspect of accountability and reckoning the quran and prophetic teachings are quite explicit regarding this belief to give you a glimpse regarding the nature of this day Allah draws our attention in Surah Yasin. Allah says, وَنُفِخَ فِي السُّورِ The trumpet will be blown, فَإِذَا هُمْ مِنَ الْأَجْدَاثِ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَنْسِلُونَ Creation in its entirety would come out of their graves and rush towards Allah, obviously for accountability. At this moment, the disbelievers would say, Destruction be upon us. مَنْ بَعَثَنَا مِنْ مَرْقَدِنَا Who woke us up from our resting place or sleep? Now, there seems to be outwardly a slight issue. Are the disbelievers actually resting in their graves? Are they enjoying the nap? We know that punishment in the grave is a reality. Why then does this ayah outwardly mention that the sound of the trumpet would wake them from their resting places? Ibn Kathir rahmatullah alayhi said, وَهَذَا لَا يَنْفِي عَذَابَهُمْ فِي قُبُورِهِمْ This verse doesn't oppose the realistic nature of punishment in the grave. لِأَنَّهُ بِالنِّسْبَةِ إِلَى مَا بَعْدَهُ فِي الشِّدَّةِ كَالْرُقَادِ Rather, in contrast to the horrific sight that awaits them and confronts them regarding Qiyamah, the punishment of the grave would all of a sudden seem mild. While this remains an unchanged reality, every person would naturally be afraid. However, fear shouldn't be transformed into despondency. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has taught us that Iman is having fear coupled with being optimistic. Umar radiallahu anhu says that some captives were brought to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَإِذَا مْرَأَةٌ مِّنَ السَّبْ يَتَسْعَى In the moment of panic, a particular child had got separated from his mother. In a rage, the mother frantically began searching for her child. The moment she found him, أَلْزَقَتْهُ بِبَتْنِهَا فَأَرْضَعَتْهُ She embraced the child and held on to him. The motherly instinct kicked in and the first thought that crossed her mind was, My child must be hungry. She subsequently fed the child, giving her little baby priority even over herself. Captivated by the sight, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam posed the question to his companions. أَتَرَوْنَ هَذِهِ الْمَرْأَةَ طَارِحَةً وَلَدَهَا فِي النَّارِ Oh my companions, do you ever think this mother would throw her child into the fire? Immediately the Sahaba said no. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then remarked, Allahu arhamu bi'ibadihi min hadihi biwaladiha. Know very well, Allah's compassion over his creation collectively far supersedes the compassion that this mother has towards her child individually. Allah's compassion over his creation collectively far supersedes the compassion that this mother has towards her child individually. Rest assured, it's a month of mercy. Let us step into this month optimistic, positive, fully convinced and believing that we are recipients of this mercy. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has taught us that Allah himself says, أَنَا عِنَّ ظَنِّ عَبْدِي بِهِ I respond to my slave according to his expectations of me. If your belief about Allah is negative, you will be dealt with proportionately and accordingly. However, if you believe that your Allah is filled with compassion, then make no mistake, happiness, joy and comfort ultimately awaits you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the understanding.